Greetings and welcome back to Monster Legends. Okay, we got a couple of things to talk about, but first we're going to talk about a video that I posted just before this one because I have a new friend who is uh, percolating over there. If you don't recognize him, that is Ragnarok, the new War Master, the last War Master. And it was uh, kind of a struggle to actually get him. Uh, there is a 70 minute video that I posted if you're interested in the struggle. And, um, yeah, it was a little bit frustrating, the randomness of things happening there. Um, I was really, didn't know what I was going to do, and then got ideas from my team. By the way, team, thank you very much for your, uh, input. And, um, yeah, I was able to actually manage it. It wasn't an easy struggle. It also tells me beyond a shadow of a doubt that I don't think I could get any other one right now. I can't think of any one that I could get. Because if it hadn't been for this fellow, who, by the way, you might notice has a significant strength upgrade there, I don't think I would have been able to do it. So, anyway, if you're interested in that, the video's there. So, I'm crafting him now, and um, then, he, of course, I'm going to hatch him. Now, I'm thinking that uh, I, right now, you might notice I have someone else in there, too. I have uh, Sting Westclaw. Here's the thing, I did a feeding video on Keeper, and I wasn't actually very enthusiastic about him. I certainly don't want him in a video with Ragnarok. So I'm trying to think, I can't craft anybody in time, right? Because once I have Ragnarok, I want to do the testing video and get him up there, right? So I'm thinking, who can I hatch right after Westclaw before I hatch the other egg? Uh, I'm thinking maybe Rabies, because I could rank him up, and he is a damage dealer. Um, I would need somebody I don't have, obviously. So these ones are all, like, uh, doubles over here. So I don't know, the, the, the Fish, maybe? Losty Ghost? Um, the Bodyguards? One of the Bodyguards? Vantis? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I'm leaning towards Rabies. Uh, I guess as long as I do that by tomorrow, then it'll work out because I still gonna have a day and a half of uh, crafting going on. So I would like to feed somebody up between Westclaw and Ragnarok. That way I can have a good three-person team. So I'm, at the moment I'm thinking about Rabies, because then, you know, I have a second one, I can always rank him up, and, an extra, and a ranked up fire one might be useful someday, right? Anyway, anyone's got any thoughts on that? Because, I mean, I, could, I got better guys I could craft, but then again, I, they would be coming in after Ragnarok, so, you know. And besides, I, I would be starting to have a space issue at that time. I do, have spa I do have space for three more right now. I have space for three more. That's going to be about it, though. So we'll have to see about the future. So I just wanted to mention that up front. So, All right, what else do we got? Well, obviously, the big thing is that the maze is gone. Um, I didn't really get anybody... And like I, I said I recorded it, I held onto the video, I didn't post it, it really wasn't very useful. I got some gems, I got some cells, uh, I didn't get anybody else, so that, it wasn't much use in putting it up or anything like that. Um, but of course now we have something else, so let's talk about that something else. So we have the Solar Core Grand Prix, and of course the center of that is Sunblast. This time the Grand Prix is Sunblast. A fast fire control monster specializing in stamina draining and cooldown activation. Two things that are quite deadly. Uh, but that's not all. He can also reduce his enemy's precision by days and sunburn to them. And remove the enemy's stamina and possess them in one move. I'm guessing that last one is probably his special skill. Otherwise, that would be ridiculously overpowered. Besides, what would be the use of removing the stamina and then possessing them? That doesn't make a lot of sense, unless you were only removing 50% of their stamina. All right. So we have a race, and that's about it. We're still giving away cells down here, and there isn't anything else going on, so let's just you know, go over not here. Let's take a look at the race. All right, so of course we see him. He's at the center here. Uh, like we just found out about, he is a, a legendary. He's fire, of course. They mentioned that. He's a superhero. Well, he looks like a superhero, doesn't he? He does indeed. Family. I guess he's into family. Um, Firestorm. Oh, okay. So Firestorm. Okay. So he's with Firestorm. And villains. I guess, well, you know, you have heroes, you have villains, right? So you got to have a villain in order to have a good hero, right? 
Okay, so let's see. What do we got here? Okay, well, the standard thing. It's your team's responsibility to earn them, right? What you do determines what you get in terms of the big guy, right? All right, let's uh, start from the bottom here. Now, in order to get anything, your team has to complete four laps, right? They have this little line over here. We're just going to talk about it right here. Uh, right up here, you can see we're in lap three at the moment. Uh, non-qualifying. See, non-qualifying. Everybody above here in lap four has qualified. So if you don't get the lap four with your team, you don't get anything. So you get the lap four. We got a week for this. It's a week long. All right, so if you qualify but you don't get to lap eight, you're going to get this. I just got like three of him in breeding events, so I, I never really looked at him. I just kind of fed him up and then, you know, split him up into cells and then fed the next one up, that kind of thing. All right, and then if you get to lap eight, but you don't get to lap ten, then you get Firestorm, who we find out is part of his uh, origin story, apparently, right? Got, yeah. Even a villain's got to have a forge in story, right? All right, so the Firestorm's there. Uh, he's okay. He's an older one. I mean, he's okay. He's certainly not the inheritor, right? So that's unfortunately the way it is. The older ones really are not as good as the newer ones. And the next generation are just turning insane in terms of power, right? It's going to be pretty soon before even the middle tier ones from a couple of years ago are just not usable anymore because the new ones are just so ridiculous. I mean, if you have a team of War Masters, which guy are you going to use from the past? Except maybe Tamarian. I think Tamarian is just good any time. If he goes first, he will just mess up your day. All right. So now, obviously, you want to get to lap 10. If you get to lap 10, that's where you get him. You get to lap 10, you just get him. He can go up to 100. No ranking up, no nothing. If you get to lap 14, you can rank him up once to 105. If you get the lap 18, you can rank him up twice and get to 110. Lap 25, you get him rank up three times to 115. Um, you can get the rank 50, you get him four times, you get him 120. And, of course, everybody will just skip your team in, uh, in the arena and go to somebody else because nobody's going to want to deal with you at all. That's Sunblast. Okay, so how are we doing? You can see how we're doing over here right now. Um, in terms of who's doing it, I want you to think for a moment. I, if you've watched my videos for a while, uh, this might actually be a little bit shocking, though, today. It kind of blew me away. Um, who do you think on my team is actually blowing it away? Yeah. Okay, so obviously the shadows are in town here, right? And they're doing an amazing job. I'm, I'm like, I'm terribly embarrassed to be down here at 1,200. So, yeah, I mean, the thing about it is we have strong contributions by individuals. I mean, we have other individuals who are doing great, but some people are just amazing. So uh, we're already at lap three, probably a good shot at 14 at this point. But you never know the way that they have changed things. Now, they did get a lot of complaints about the last race, mostly at the really high end, which just kind of, from my understanding, turned really insane. They stated that they understood that there was some it was harder than it should have been now i don't know if they mean at the bottom or the high end but i've already seen some things here where they were asking for elements early on which was a little bit on the annoying side but it really depends on how things go in the future you know if they start going like okay well you have to get these number of epics and they have to be this element that's when it really starts getting a little bit on the annoying side but uh, we're gonna have to see we're gonna have to see so we'll hopefully um, hopefully we can get we can all get this guy and we can get him as strong as we can right because remember we're not really competing against each other we're competing against our own teams you know it's kind of like running a race you know, where you're actually just trying to get yourself a new best time. You don't really care about winning the race. You just want to beat your last time. You know, that kind of thing. Okay, in terms of positional rewards, and this, of course, is the teams that finish in first place, second place, third place, that kind of thing. This is the really inter-team competition here. The team that finishes the highest in terms of laps is going to get 80 Elementium and 150 Fire Cells for each of its... Um, 
team members. I do believe the team members have to qualify inside their teams as well. So otherwise, I don't believe they get anything. At least that's the way it should be. And of course, it just goes down the line until, you know, if you do it at all, you're going to get something. But again, you have to qualify. And individual rewards are handed out among team members. You know, if the team qualifies again, then, you know, look at the rewards. Pretty good ones here. You know, you get some extra cells for this guy. Get a go, go relic. I clicked on him again. And uh, yeah, so that's the way it is. So this is what we're going to be doing for the next week. For the next week, we are going to be um, going to be doing a race. Do I like races? Uh, not really. The rewards are great, but you know, it's just so costly. Yeah, I mean, it is indeed. All right, so why don't we just move on from there, right? So we talked about those other things. We talked about uh, the Ragnarok one, the, the War Master, and that one is still going. And uh, because I completed it in its first run, of course, I'm going to get a... Um, uh, a support, a 10 support speed. We'll see what happens, what I end up doing with that. And, um, yeah, why don't we just move on to war? Uh, we won the last war. We did indeed. We won the last war. Um, the search took a little bit of a long time this time. We're, we're around like 1.30 in the afternoon again, which is really irritating. But I don't want to do uh, a day skip unless it's absolutely necessary. If it draws into like 3 in the afternoon, 4, something like that, then we'll have to do something about that because that's just getting crazy at that point. But we don't have to do that now. Hopefully we'll be able to get searches in a timely manner. Anyway, let's go on in. Uh, I like the combo for this to a degree. Uh, we are leading, but they are very fast. They have a lot of very fast individuals. They have a lot of very strong ones too. Even if you just look right here, you'll notice there's a number of nemesis creatures and also there's a lot of Elvira up here too. Um, so there's also a ton of speed. I mean, I cannot compete with that. Not right there. I, I do not believe I can do that. Hold on a minute. All right, let's see. What do you got? No, 75, oh, I can't do that one. 75, let's see, what do you got? No, no, I can't do that. Yeah, even with uh, Christy giving a 5 there. So, unfortunately, I'm even though water is involved here, I'm having a lot of trouble catching up with speed here. Now, I don't want to do that one. Well, actually, that one's kind of close, but it's got an 85 in it, so I don't want to do that. Um, that one does not look like something I have a chance at. No, no, I don't want to mess with that. You'll notice that I'm going down. Hey, that's a name I've seen before. Is that a viewer? There's actually an interesting coincidence with that. Okay. Um, yeah, I might have to just do this one. Yeah, I looked above that line a lot, and there was just too much speed for me. Um, so we'll have to just do what we can. The alternative, of course, was skipping war today, and I didn't want to do that. People get upset when I do that. Now, we do have a complication over there is that uh, Tara's going to take stamina away from these individuals, but um, I'm pretty sure this individual over here on the top here is going to get missed. So he's probably going to stun us. It really depends on what his skill set is, doesn't it? So we're going to have to see how this works out. Vanishing threat. Okay. Oh, he, he used that one. Okay. All right, so he's doing the um, he's doing the evasion. What else do you have there? Oh, he's still doing a dodge evasion too. All right, let me think about this. Um, well, I, I get rid of the other guys. That would be a really good idea. Uh, so let's see what we can do about that. Okay, uh, we got the sunburn on the one in the front, but the uh, the stake uh, basically kind of avoided that one. Can we get stuns down? That's the bleeding one. Stuns. If I kill his friends, then I think he's going to be less of a problem. Okay, steak. We're just missing steak all over the place anyway. Well, look at him. He's uh, he's so small, he's really hard to hit, isn't he? All right, we're going to do this, obviously. Let's think about this. Uh, steak is a problem. I think I'm going to try to freeze him. Good. All right, now what are you going to do? Oh, yeah, you're going next. Okay, that's unfortunate. All right, do you have anything? Remove the status effects from itself. That sounds like a plan. All 
All right, uh, bleeding! She wants you to bleed! Okay, your friends are dead and you're bleeding. These are good things. Here, stabby stabby. Okay, guard down. What are you gonna follow it up with? Okay, oh, uh, he's, uh, he's evading again, unfortunately. Let me think. Um, I'm not going to be able to hit him. He's evading, so... Uh, curse Cleaner? I'm not going to hit him, but I'll get, I'm will get. i going to get rid of stuff. So I got rid of all the negative stuff that we had. I can't do anything to him. Spirit Hater. Okay, but you got your stamina back. Okay, but it doesn't matter. You are... Should I just stab him? Yeah, I think so. You were dead. Okay, once he no longer has friends... I guess he didn't have the stun. The group stun, that was. All right. Well, you really need to run that one manually in order to get it to work. All right, so let's see. There's a 15 here. I probably should have done this one with the other team. Wow, he's going to have that. Well, let me throw a team together and see what it looks like. Um, well, water... Should I go with water or should I go with... Here's what I'm wondering. Do I want to go... No, I don't want to do, I don't want to do that. I don't, have, I don't have three runes on him. That's the thing. I'm thinking about... Dodger. See, this is the reason. Looking at this list, after my experience with Ragnarok, there is no way I could get Elvira. I just do not have. I do not have the uh, the the damage capability for that. Sparta was everything in that fight, so I just don't think that that's possible. I guess I'm just going to use Ingvar. Uh, and, uh, for this, ooh, do I want to use Amiibo? I was thinking a steak. Because I want the damage. All right. All right, I don't know if this is going to work. Let me just check the speeds here. I don't, he's, uh, 57, and you are, no, not you. Oh, you're just off. I'm going to have to use somebody who's got some uh, some uh, support speed. Otherwise, I'm going to have to... Do I have anybody in the light who's got support speed? I'm going to have to look into that, ain't I? Um, anybody? Anybody at all? Uh, <laughs> anybody who isn't an epic? Okay, well then, you know what? I'm going to have to do something else, ain't I? Because, um, yeah, I'm going to have to do something else. I guess I'm going to have to go with uh, Jack. Oh, I know what I'm going to do. All right. Um, I could do Amigbo. But, I mean, I don't have as much damage capability at that point. I was thinking, what if I use Jack and then use Jello? What about Hydrox? He doesn't have really the effects that I would like. Okay, we're going to do this then. And I'm going to go down to Red Jello. Uh, I didn't miss him. I'm pretty sure he's down here. He usually is. There he is. All right. 65. Yeah, that's that. That's nobody, nobody over there was that. All right. So let's just go. Okay. So he is no purpose in even messing with him. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to target... Uh, Lionel here in the front to actually I should probably make sure that the Varuna is taken out of the mix okay we did get the freeze down on the, him in the chair the big guy in the chair here nice miss okay he's red because he's upset all right, he's doing the... He's got both evade and the other evade going. All right, so I'm going to ignore him for the moment. Uh, 
I'm gonna go with uh, the blinding. All right, uh, start grinding these other guys down, right? All right, so let's see. Blind. Let's take your stamina away. I'm just going to ignore the other guy for now and get rid of his two friends. Okay, you missed him. All right, let's think. Uh, okay, you're you're uh, you can be frozen again. Oh, and your friend at the top can be frozen too. Isn't that wonderful? Okay, uh, encouragement. Okay, I'm pretty sure I could just kill you, but if I use the major one, all right, let's just get let's just reduce numbers. What do you got? Arctic boost. Yeah. Okay, he's frozen, so. Okay, stunning is a thing. Okay, you can't do anything right now. You're not stunned anymore, so you're dead, though. Right, yeah, like I said, unfortunately I had to uh, bottom feed there. I don't like doing that, but every... Okay, that's that's one I ignored there because I did But the speeds um, were just really crazy up here, and I couldn't do anything about them. And you can see we start rolling into war, more War Masters. we got two War Masters over here. So uh, they got a lot of good stuff. So it wouldn't surprise me if they come back really hard. You can actually see they are coming back kind of hard. And um, we've attacked 20 more times than them. So, yet they definitely have got some really strong stuff up here. So, I don't know. I don't know. It really depends, doesn't it? it? Depends on how strongly they come back. But, you know what? I don't know. We'll have to see. Anyway, why don't we go into some PvP? Because, you can see, I have over 4,000. So, we're going to get some better teams. And, yeah, these individuals just decided to go right after them. I'm guessing this, maybe that one there just wanted to lose some points or something. Because otherwise, I can't imagine why they would do that. You know, I, I don't. I don't understand why they would do that. I go an 85 and a 65. Sure, I could take a 110 and a 100 and a 105. No, not really. So, I mean, this one up here, it could have easily been something that came up. You know, I don't know. Um, yeah, I mean, the thing about it is I have no idea. But all I know is we're over 4,000. We should get more interesting teams, which, of course, is terrifying. All right, so let's go, because I got four teams. All right, so our first team today was suggested by Sarah Charles. And Sarah wanted to see, unfortunately, two of these guys nullified a lot of other team choices. So I'm really sorry. Oh, and by the way, the first individual was Simon, who just happens to be standing there. He was waiting this whole time for Sarah to pick him. All right, and the second member of this team was... Where is... Simba! Yeah, those first two. Unfortunately, those first two really eliminated a lot of teams. Options, people. Options. And the last individual who I... I don't even know if he's going to get a chance to attack. He might. It depends. Uh, this is going... Well, I shouldn't say attack. Very poor choice of words, because the third member of this team is... Waiting for it... Boogie! Boogie's going. He's gonna, is he going to go before Simon? He might, so he might be able to buff him. All right, we'll see what happens. Obviously, we don't really have denial here. We have Simba making Simon... Oh, he's not going to do that, because Simon is going to be pushed to the top by... Um, by what's her name? By uh, Simba. There's not really any denial up the middle. There's some stunning in the middle there, but um, let me think. Let's look around a bit. Freezing? Do I want to risk a uh, Krampus? 
Yeah, the tree dude at the treetop, doesn't he have some really ugly status stuff that he gives to his guys? I, that's a team I don't want to mess with. I think that we're going to do something really crazy, and we're going to try the team on the right. The team in the middle, I just don't think that they would. They might survive the first round, but the thing about it is you look at it this way. Simba's going to have Simon go. He's going to give him double damage and precision, right? Then, not too long after that, Totem's going to go, assuming he hasn't been destroyed, and he's going to put damage on Simon, and Simon's going to get his second turn. So, I don't think that would be much of a challenge. This over here looks like a challenge, so we'll see how this works out. If the Krampus is faster, I have no idea. All right, hold on a minute. Okay, 5860. No, no. No, okay, I, I, I can't imagine that was, I think that was just thrown together. I don't know why you would have support speed on a Krampus. Okay, whatever, let's go. They could easily still win. Uh, Petite is a real pain. All right, obviously I'm doing this. All right, let's see, what, okay, well, the Petite lives. Um, for a few seconds longer. Okay, that worked. I was kind of hoping that team would be a little tougher. That's the reason I picked it over the other one. Alright. Okay, and money! Yippee! I certainly don't have enough of that. Yeah, so far the teams aren't doing too crazy here yet. Alright, we're just gonna let the, uh, the trophies run. We're just gonna let the trophies run. Okay, so like I said, I had a lot of trouble finding individuals. I actually had to bypass some people whose names I didn't recognize. So a lot of these you're going to recognize. Our second team today was suggested by Old Reliable. And Old Reliable actually didn't go with any of the uber tough ones, so this could be an interesting match. So let's see. We're starting with... I think I really do need to open up a last wound slot for him. Yeah, Bruce. I, I think the next time it comes up, I really do need to open that one up. But I got so many guys I need to fix. I wish they would do those deals more often. Okay, next up, somebody we haven't seen for a while, but he is actually quite good. And that is... Where, okay, wait a minute. He's down here somewhere. Okay, Arnold, and finally, also in metal, we're going down here, and we're getting, he's down here, somewhere, okay, hold on, okay, Wally, all right, obviously, speed is possibly an issue, so let's see what we got here, well, up the middle isn't a speed issue, at least not in terms of a denial, that's what I mean, now, the Atom might have a little extra, and he can actually group stun. Would he have more than Bruce? I and mean, Bruce doesn't really have great stuff to him. I mean, there's, well, there's actually a Varuna on the right. As a Captain Copperbeard. Probably going to see a lot of Captain Copperbeard 100s, considering the limited path, and the fact that it was only about 3,000. So I'm guessing a lot of people who didn't have Captain Copperbeard got him. All right, let's try up the middle, even though it's extremely dangerous. I... Okay. Health? I guess there's some idea of putting health on a, a Vaultic. He's not easy to kill, right? Wouldn't have been my choice. All right, but luckily, Bruce is going first here. Uh, no, we're not doing that one. Uh, frozen water, that's it. Low water damage, may freeze. We need freezes, please. Even though Atom's going to be a pain. No, he's not. He complied, which is very wonderful. Thank you. Okay, so I'm thinking I'm going to do magnetizing here because I think that Arnold will appreciate that. Okay, Atom, he didn't want that, and neither did the vault -Tec. All right, let me think about this. Do I want to just get rid of the vault -Tec? Because there is a healer in the shop here, right? It's not going to kill him, though. That's a problem. All 
I guess doing the double damage one isn't such a bad idea. He'll probably he's probably gonna get stunned by Atom though. It wouldn't surprise me. Alright, he's got the double damage down. Alright, let's think about this. Alright, um, why don't we take the stamina away, or a lot of the stamina away from the Voltec to try to save Bruce's life. Okay, what are you going to do? Stun? Yep, yep, there we go. And he's out. Good. Alright. Yeah, the double damage has got one more turn of it, I think, right? Oh, and she I knew she was going to do healing. All right, uh, bombing raid, or do I go for... He can get double damage, too. All right, why don't we just, like, pick on him? Unfortunately, Bruce is going to die now. Oh, wow. Okay. Multi-kill! All right, and let's think. Now, shark attack, bleeding, stamina away from, I desperately, I do not want him putting the shield up, you know? I do not want him putting the shield. Oh, he resisted the stamina drain. That is a big problem. Okay, he didn't do the, uh, you know, if you'd hit the guy in the front, he'd be dead. Just thought I'd mention that. Bombing raid. Wally just has the most amazing luck. Um, shark attack. Because he's a shark, and he attacked. Alright, that worked out pretty well. Alright, so let's do a spin. Okay, do this first, and then do a spin. Alright, let's go in with team number three. And this was what I was talking about a moment ago when I was looking at the team we were fighting in war. Our third and our third team, I should say, our third team was suggested by Game Changer ML. I don't know if it's the same person. If it is, that's kind of interesting. And um, yeah, he wanted to win, by the way. So we're going to start with over in metal. We're going not going too far down because we're going with Fernando. Uh, next up, yeah, in that case, a metal, you know, with someone like him, a metal, um, War Master might be a possibility. You know, metal, I'm not too bad in metal, it's just that I don't have anybody of, um, Sparta's quality, right? Uh, and speaking of Sparta, yeah, he's in there next. And finally, somebody who is also metal and also good. So I'm thinking if I had a real damage dealer... That might be a combo that might take a War Master if I had somebody in metal who was just amazing and really strong. But I can see that this one is going to be a... This one's going to destroy. I'm hoping that we can find a really good team to fight here because otherwise it's just going to be kind of easy. All right, let's just see. Maybe we can find something really strong. Uh, they're 120, but there's an epic there, and that's not really very strong, I don't think. All right, one more shot. I, I guess we do the one on the left because I mean that's about it, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, I I got I guess I really need the trophy count heart up higher to get really tougher teams, but I guess we're doing this one. I mean they don't stand a prayer. They really, especially now with a more powerful uh, Sparta, he is literally going to be one shotting anybody. I think. Okay, well, um, Endemic Pathogen, Moderate Metal Damage, and of course, Cooldown Activation, which is always a one fun thing, right? Okay, although he missed the Galatron. Alright, so why don't we just, like, one-shot the Galatron? Okay, who do we one-shot this time? Yeah, one-shotting uh, Cryotens. But you know, the Cryotin isn't anywhere near as damaging as you. Especially considering what I'm planning on doing. Which is, of course, resetting your cooldown. Yes, so you, all your cooldowns are nicely set there. And you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to give us our skills back. Yeah, it sucks to be you. 
let me think. Um, I don't have to reset your cooldowns, but I can make you totally blind. Because you don't want to see this coming. No, you don't. Uh, actually, we'll just do the big one here, and that's it. I just had a horrible thought of, um, what's the name of it, um, Lupin giving him that triple damage. I know he can give himself triple damage, and he can't avoid the stun, but, wow, that'd be just, even if he was stunned for one turn, I mean, wow. You know, that's, you know, I guess maybe that's why they don't want to bring back the Titan invasions. I mean, such combos like that. You could just get so much damage done on a target that actually can take that much damage. Yeah, I missed the Titan invasions. Those were interesting. All right, so I have enough that I don't ha enough of the attacks that I don't have to go out. That's from doing the uh, the War Master dungeon, by the way. So let's go in with our fourth and final team. Speaking of combos, by the way, our fourth and final team was suggested by Sid, the Soviet kid, and Sid seem to have combos on the mind. So let's go with our first individual, who I did point a slight adjustment to. And that, of course, is Fenrir. It's Lupin, and he's got, a, he's got a speed on him now. Because he doesn't attack, he bops. And he, I think he's going to have that opportunity, too. Because next up, we're going with... Where is... Jack. All right, and finally... The final member of our team is going to be somebody who I believe can take the hit. Or I should say the lack of it. Where is it? I nearly clicked on him earlier there. I think they're related though, aren't they? Because this is Gelatron, and this is Jello, And I do believe he is immune to certain things. I don't remember. All I know is I'm going to do what obviously I'm supposed to do. Well, let me think about that for a moment. Well, I mean, if I want a challenge, then I think we're doing the team on the left. Oh, wait a minute, up the middle. What about up the middle? It really depends. It depends on the um, it depends on the Tamarian and how fast he is. That's clearly the strongest team. But I mean, if the Tamarian isn't the fastest one, I'm thinking he has to be the denial. If he's really fast, then we're in a lot of trouble. All right, let's just see what happens. He's not really fast. Certainly not Jack fast. So I can... Uh, things could go very wrong with this, though. Okay, so here's the thing. They are all going to go after us. Uh, I, I'm, this is a huge gamble, but you know what? Worst case scenario, I think that I lose Jack. All right, I'm going to do this one. I think I have to shut down the Tamarian. If I don't shut down the Tamarian, then um, he could just mess us up completely. Now, mind you, the Voltic could easily kill Jack and is probably going to. Now, of course, if the uh, Burtgar is resist the freeze, yeah, then we're in a lot of trouble too. So, I mean, if they resist the freezes, we're in trouble. But I can't freeze the Tamarian and I have to do something about him. So I'm going to try to take his stamina away. Okay, that actually worked out as perfect as you could imagine. Okay, just a quick check on something. Immune to control, right. That's what the individual was thinking. All right, so this is, this is a good combo right here. So he's immune to control. All right, so what do we got here? We got some death. We got some death over here. That's what we got. Bye, guys. Okay, now he's going to go. Is he going to go? No, he's not going to go because I'm going to take his stamina away from him. Mind you, he can still whirlwind us. No, I guess not. Um, you know what? Why don't you just... Why don't we have a boost too? Okay, I tell you what. You can finish him. There you go. He got to attack for once. Yeah, I mean, he is really best as a buffer if you have someone like that in the background. You know, someone who you can't stun. So, yeah, I didn't even think about Galatron until I, I saw that in there. So, that was a, a good combo. All 
Okay, can I have one of those with a little strike through it so it's like a 10? Because I'm getting one and I probably want another one. Yeah, I might, might just put that, I might keep that as a 10 and put that on Ragnarok. I was wondering, should I put him in a team with Tara and, um, and Inigo? I mean, would he be a decent replacement because he can do so many other things? And um, yeah, I'm just thinking that way. I might, we'll, we'll see what happens. Anyway, that's us done for now. All right, so that's going to be it. We have a race going, and uh, work with your team and contribute to your team. And even if you're not a major contributor and you say, well, I can't really do that, if you're on a team, just log in a couple of times a day. If it's just hatch one egg, collect this amount of food. That reminds me. I just, I just I should have been doing this a long time ago. Okay, repeat all. Have all of your guys going. Try to keep money up. Because you run into one of those things where it says team must collect this much food. That is easy to do if you have all your foods up. Um, the same thing with money. Just don't collect your money for now. Um, keep it up there because those kind of events come up. You know, 15 team members need to collect this much money or this much food or need to hatch one guy. Something like that. It's really painful when your team gets stuck on that, you know. I haven't seen that yet. I don't know if they've removed it. I've seen a couple of threes, but still, just check in and see how you can help your team on a daily basis, really. Because the thing is, the big guys want to do their stuff. But if they see, like, one person hasn't gone in, and it's like 14 of 15, and one person... You don't, you don't want to blow gems on that. That's just terrible. Just check in with your team members and just work on it as a team, all right? And remember... If your team does get the big rewards, you do have to qualify. So I'm pretty sure you do. So just keep that in mind. Anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. So thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games because games are fun. See you.